Hello! This video will be a tutorial on how to create custom positions for 4 player chess on chess.com. From the main 4 player chess play uh, tab, you'll be able to get to the board editor in a few different ways. Firstly, if you click New Game, um, you might have to first click Custom and then click Custom Starting Position. Uh, but once you're here, you'll be able to click this button to edit position. Um, other than that, you can press A on your keyboard. Um, of course, you'll be able to, you'll have to enable keyboard shortcuts first, but pressing A will bring you to the board editor as well. And then lastly, um, you can look at a game that's already been played and start from here by going firstly to the starting position with this button and then edit position uh, to go from there. Um, I'm going to start by, uh, start with the standard custom position. Um, you can either clear board to get rid of everything. You can reset the board to the first starting position. Um, and from there, usually I'll start here. I want to try making the position that I've been considering. Uh, the position will look like this. Uh, I want to first turn on symmetric editing so that when um, I place a tile or a square, it's mirrored uh, across to all four players. This game will be very simple, and I don't know if it makes sense. Uh, it will work as a hyperbolic game um, where it is uh, nine check and capture the king. So uh, you've kind of seen me editing the position by placing pieces on the board. Of course, you can place walls. You can change the game rules. Um, these will all change how the game is played. For instance, if you wanted to make it king of the hill, you could do that. If you wanted to make it anti-chess, you could do that. Um, but in this case, capture the king uh, with nine check. Um, I'm going to make it three points for a king capture or for a checkmate. Um, and then I'm going to turn off pawn promotion because in this game there are no pawns. Um, other than that, you can select more options. You can make the players dead, or you can make them zombies, in which case you have different options to select which type of zombie they will be. Um, castling, starting points, uh, pawn starting rank. Uh, this will determine where the pawns can make a double jump from to start. And then royal piece. I think since this in this position um, there are there is only one king for each player, it will automatically default for the nine checks being on this king. But just to be sure, I'm going to type in for red uh, that the royal piece is on f1. Um, and when I click off of that, you'll see now the royal piece has been updated not only for red but for all uh, four players that this king is uh, the nine check piece. Um, what else was I going to add here? Um, yeah, you can make the, the, the different game rules. Oh, I wanted to say that red is going to be the first player to move. From here, I would recommend you click this copy FEN4 button. That way you can um, mess around with the position and you'll always be able to paste uh, that same FEN4 back into the game. Um, later and reset the position. Uh, and the, the idea again here would be that this is hyperbolic, so um, it's, uh, it's going to be quick moves for all of the players. Um, green can give a check, red can uh, step over, maybe wants to give a check later on, uh, but maybe blue will give a check as well. Uh, yellow steps back. Now green's turn. Uh, green might play a move like this. Red can give that check. Uh, yellow, well, it's blue's turn. But you get the idea. Um, the idea would be to test this position thoroughly, make sure that it's balanced, make sure that it's exciting and fun. Um, and then once you've uh, tested it on your own, you can Go back, we'll clear this, let's put in the one that we copied earlier, load, and then uh, new game will allow you to play this. Of course, it needs to be in casual mode, um, and you'll be able to um, play with other players. 
you can invite people from your friends list, or you can type in a, a username there. You can also make it public so that anyone can join the game. You can add computers, you can add random bots, um, and you can even seat the players in uh, the positions that you want them to be. So um, once you've done all that, you are allowed to submit these positions for consideration uh, by the custom games admins on chess.com. Um, you can do that on the forums. Uh, there is a pinned thread here, how to submit new custom positions. And this will explain all the requirements that you'll need to fill in order to post that custom position. Again, we encourage you um, to test the position thoroughly, look for mating ideas, fast, quick, forced mates, look for teaming ideas. If two players work together, is it is it easy to, for them to um, checkmate an opponent? And then lastly, is it fun? Is it something that you would want to play on four-player chess? Um, those are uh, our recommendations, but this page has the requirements. Um, if you're if you feel satisfied with your position and you'd like to submit it, um, follow these requirements, make a new forum topic, um, and your position will be considered. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to put them in the uh, comments below this video or in the comments of the forum thread. Thank you.